Welcome back. Today we are cooking with Rainya for Christmas. Rainya Harris is here to share her recipe for a main dish for your holiday meal. Hi, Rainya. Hello, ladies. Hi, Rainya. How are you? What are we making today? It smells so this good. This truly is going to be Christmas dinner for us. It's grilled filet mignon uh, oh. with a Caesar butter. A we, Caesar butter. We picked the right day to be yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Yeah. You did. Um, I will tell you how this works in just a second. Let's make the Caesar butter first. Okay. okay. So Caesar salad always has the same components that this is going to have. Garlic, anchovies, which really only impart some saltiness. It doesn't have a fishy it doesn't taste. Have, that's what I'm always concerned no, about. No, it will not taste. have the fishy okay. taste. I guarantee you by the time I'm done with this. I believe This you, is right fresh now. lemon rind. You just the zest of the lemon oh. and then squeeze the lemon after it. You don't do it the other way. You'll never be able to zest a squeezed lemon. Oh, that's New a good tip. tip right? Remember that. Okay. Yes. <laughs> oh, zest it and then squeeze it. And this is Dijon mustard. Again, the only thing we're not putting in this that some Caesar salads have is a coddled egg, which is a partially cooked egg. We're not mm -hmm. doing that. And this is Worcestershire sauce. And Worcestershire that, sauce. And that is always in Caesar butter, in Caesar <laughs> salad, always. So put the lid on of the food processor and allow this to puree. Mm -hmm. oh, I love that. Is this different than a blender? I'm, I'm, yes. I'm not much, that much good. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I no. need one of these. Me and too. this. You, I heard you asking what do you want for Christmas? You're right. Yes, yes for a yes, food processor. For a food for now. This right. is a need and a want. Mm -hmm. Now, here comes the butter. Now, obviously, in Caesar salad, there's no butter in the dressing. Um, yeah, yes. that is your sauce. Just, That's going to make it even better, though. Yeah, the more the, butter, but, the better. Well, you're going to see what I'm going to do in just a second. Put the lid back on, and the butter must be at room temperature okay. in order to really blend well. Mm -hmm. So, Rainya, you make this. Is this a tradition every Christmas? No, actually, every year is a little different, but the beef is always a tradition. Mm -hmm. So I'm Ooh. going to let this continue to process with, and this always goes in Caesar salad, Parmesan, Parmesan cheese. Parmesan cheese. Oh, yeah, that's so my favorite There's part. a lot of salt going on between the cheese and the anchovy, so I'm not going to put anything but pepper in here, all right? Okay. Now I'm going to put the lid back on, and I'm going to let this do its thing, all right? It's Talk okay. about this. Yes. I got the smokeless grill, and as you can see, there is very little smoke very going little. on. Yeah. Right. And there are six to seven ounce, but more six pieces of center cut filet mignon. Mm -hmm. And I put a little bit of olive oil on, just a little bit, and I season this only with some salt and pepper. And you want to cook them medium rare mm -hmm. because there's so little fat in this cut of meat that if you overcook it, all you're doing is drying it out. I've learned that because I used to always get my, you know, order my steaks medium. But and, now, and then they're dry. Yeah, and then they're, and they're dry, dry. But yeah. now I get them medium rare. Right. So Much you don't juicier. want that to happen. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this, which is now done, out of the food processor, and I am going to show you the best trick ever. Oh, oh show us, Rainya. I, I can't <laughs> wait to taste it. One of the hardest things when you're working with a mixture like this in a food processor is getting everything out of the machine without getting in there and risking really cutting yourself because this blade is really, really sharp. Mm -hmm. So you can see that there's a significant there amount sure left and you don't want to lose right. it. Put this back on. Make sure that this goes down in. Put your lid back on. Lid, lid. Watch this. Turn it on for a second. Yeah. Take it off and you've just self cleaned the blade. Oh! The blade is completely look at that. Sure it is. Completely self cleaned. That's a neat little trick. Isn't oh, yeah. that? You're Merry full Christmas. Of all the good I learned oh, wow. that when the Cuisinart first was developed in this country, it's the Roboku was the first food processor in Paris, in France. But this, when it came to this country, they did, may I have that? Oh, they yes. did a wonderful um, nationwide tour 
And what they did was, is they demonstrated this, and this was one of the tricks. Now here's, speaking of tricks, oh, you put yeah. this right on yeah. top of the hot, hot tenderloin oh, of beef, and it, and it melts oh, right over I the top. This. Okay. And then right over there, you have a knife. Oh, yes. Right, we can do it over there. It might be easier, Mikey. Okay. Girls Mikey, can share. Right. You both have forks. But see how that is simply melting all over the meat. Oh, this looks great. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Oh, look how easily that sounds. That looks see, fantastic. Oh, so can we see how perfectly yes. cooked the tenderloin mm. is? That's what you want. That perfect perfection of the pink in the middle. Mm -hmm. right. And how long did you say again that you had? I started this, and I'm going to tell you, exactly at 9.18. So wow. less than 10 minutes. Oh, that's so good. That right is, now. oh, yeah. I'm going to have this masterpiece. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait, no, no, well, look at Selena's piece. I love look you, at Selena. <laughs> Go for it. I don't, I don't even care. Well, may, I'm going to take a bite of this, but first, make sure that you get a copy for this amazing recipe right on our site, PittsburghTodayLive.com. You'll also find a link to Rainius Catering, where she and her staff will be happy to do the cooking for you. Oh, yeah. right. Go for it, honey bunny. Uh, <laughs> All right, take a look at this one. Can you guess who this is? Up next, we will reveal the person Pittsburgh Magazine chose for its Pittsburgher of the Year. We've been guessing who it could be, and we'll find out the answer just ahead. <laughs> Somebody's saying Mikey. Also ahead, 4 million lights. Candy coasters, even reindeer, all just an easy sleigh ride away from Pittsburgh. Stay with us to find out about Christmas Candyland at Hershey Park ahead. Walking in winter wonderland. 